Uh, have you ever wondered what your exes would say about you? Mm. And the reason we th uh, thought this up, this little talk here, is uh, J-Lo. Her exes, two of them, have nothing but good things to say, apparently. In Style Magazine interviewed two of uh, Jennifer Lopez's most famous exes, and one guy didn't have a shirt on. Uh, her ex-husband, Mark Antony, uh, and former fiancé, Ben Affleck, uh, they did this for their uh, cover story uh, in the magazine on Jennifer. So Mark said J-Lo is the hardest worker he knows and that she nails just about everything she sets her mind to. Ben, he, he said pretty much the same thing, that he's amazed by her work ethic, her talent, and her drive. And while J-Lo's former partners there weighed in, the article did not include any quotes from her current on again, off again, on again fiance, mm. Alex Rodriguez. I'm not sure why. Well, he wouldn't be an ex. He's, no, he's, he's they're right. working on it. Like but I don't see why any of them would say anything negative. I mean, they're all established. Ben's established. That was uh, Mark Anthony in the middle. I don't see them. I mean, they have a very close relationship, though, J-Lo right. and Mark. And yeah, so they have kids. I wouldn't see them coming out saying anything negative. We're, I think it's different when it's also the mother of your children. Like, come on. Oh, that's well. true. <laughs> well, you that would hasn't like stopped to think. people before, but. You Wasn't like there some tension between Ben and J-Lo at one point, though? I think and right after they split. Or maybe that was Jennifer, his, his wife. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Gosh, so many um, Jennifers. D did Linda call back in, Sammy? Uh, we uh, have one of my exes, and I'm not lying, Linda and I uh, dated mm -hmm. for a while, and she's on the phone with us right now, and there she is. She went, uh, she, yes, she was the model for Dove uh, soap products back in the day. Hi, Linda. Hello. This is a desperate ploy for some compliments, I see. Oh, oh. Well, well, this is going to be good. I like her. Well, this is why I usually lean back in the seat, because this is about to get good. All right. All right, then uh, let's... <laughs> Let's Off do this start. Then. Alex and Alex look alike. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez look alike. Why don't you do the interview with Linda then? I won't lead her into anything. Do you, you want sure to start? You sure you want that? Alex? Sure, go ahead. All right, go first, Alex. Okay. Uh, Linda, how is Mike in a relationship? Like, what grade would you give him? A, B, C, D, F? I would give Mike in a relationship an A. Oh. I would. Okay. okay. Did he pay very, you to give that grade? Very. I was paying her then. No, but he will pay me after this. So <laughs> pay me Get out the checkbook. <laughs> he has me on retainer. I do these <laughs> things all the time. Well, he's a smart man. <laughs> Linda, was he very attentive to all your needs? Yeah, you know, he is a, he's an attentive guy. He's very generous of spirit and with his time, um, as long as you don't interfere with his basketball watching. <laughs> That's true. The way this is going, I'm about to ask, why did y'all break up then? <laughs> why did we? Well, that's a long, uh, long and twisted. Well, we got time. Well, you got 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you too. Stop. Uh, all right. There's, there's got to no, be. No, but really, can you put in a sentence? Like, what was the, what was the reason? He was, uh, okay, here's the sentence. His first love and always has been is his career. Oh. I can see that. I chose career over wow. this beautiful woman, Linda. Wow. All right, so what is, come up with some negative. I mean. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was quick. Uh, that was quick. I just, I just happened to think of one. <laughs> when we were dating, uh, I got a phone call from Mike, who was living in New York at the time, as was I. And he said, hey, I've moved to L.A. Yeah. He just up and moves and didn't tell you even though you were dating? He didn't tell her? Yeah, he had a job offer and he forgot to tell me. He forgot to tell the woman he was dating? How, do you, how does that not come up? How did you think that would play out, Mike? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't think it through, obviously. I guess uh, that's putting the career first. Yeah. That's like she said, that was, that's the biggest negative. How did you react to that? Like, when did you finally find out? When you saw him well, on I TV? <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he, we talked on the phone. He said it was that it had an offer, it wasn't going to be a long offer, you know, he was just going to be out there and stay with a friend, and uh, I went out to visit, and we had a huge breakup, Mike, oh, you remember? I forgot about and it. And we didn't speak for years. Wow. <laughs> How did you reconnect then, Laura, oh, yeah. all these years this later? This is fascinating. I forgot about that. 
You did not forget about that. Well, I, it, <laughs> now I remember vividly, it was over at Jan's house, wasn't it? You got it. It was at Jan's house. L Linda. Wait, so what brought you back? Yeah, how did, like Thomas asked, how did you reconnect? I don't know. You know, Mike has that magic spell that he does on people. So if the circumstances just... were right, the mood was right, would you reconnect? We are still connected. Oh, we yeah. Are connected. We don't date each other, but okay. we are connected. And uh, and Mike is a one of the most fine people you will ever meet. Anyone you'll ever meet. He's a That's good time. True. Thank you. Yeah. He is a good. He is a good time. <laughs> well, is he you. a passionate? Thank you, Linda. My Cook. God, I completely <laughs> forgot about this. Did and you? I think I didn't even drive you to the airport in L.A. Did I? Didn't you have to go by yourself? <laughs> That's correct. I had to call my friend Ruth. Oh God, I can. That must have been some kind of argument. Oh, it was bad. It was. It was a. It was. It was two hours of crying on the plane back to New York. Oh my God. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, I just now remember what I said to. Oh yes. my God. <laughs> it's all coming back to him now. Yes. yes. What did you say? Back. Do we want to know? It sounds like this sounds. Like... No, it's horrible. It's okay. just horrible. We got. Oh, we're out of time. <laughs> well, Linda, we're offering eight free complimentary therapy sessions <laughs> as a, a parting gift here on Good Day. That's fantastic. I can use them right now. Oh, this was the look idea. that she had the, uh, during our whole relationship. It was a kind of bewilderment. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? Linda, you are lovely. Thank you for talking Absolutely. to us. <laughs> Bye, Linda. Right. Have a have a great day. Oh, wait, one last thing. One last parting question. Oh, God. Would you oh, recommend Mike for anyone then? Or would you say just, you know, cool it? <laughs> no, I would recommend Mike. He is just the most lovely human being I know. Oh, wow. That's sweet. Okay. Well, thank you. Linda. She's been in prison for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Still currently. Oh my gosh. You have one minute left on your <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, that was something. Thank you, Linda. Oh.